for you. So therefore, you're going to need to be healthy for that. As I said, everything keep boiling back down to these three things. Everything in this life, whether or not it's a pandemic or not, it's three things. Your health, and that's been a big thing from start of life till now. That's why there's a medical, there's the Ministry of Health. These things are etched in history like you need it. So your health is very important. Your mental health is very important. Very. And your financial health. So, that's my chapel line plan for the rest of this. What you are, what do? As men say, I'm lucky love to live close to the sea. So, there's this like a shopping at the east where I always make Irish match. Every day, I can just go buy some love. Honey, lime, Irish match. Ingredients simple as fuck. Simple as fuck. Honey, lime, Irish match. I'm going to drink this for the whole day. Work out everything. I still feel good. I feel like I miss a meal. I feel hungry. You see me? So, yeah. And they said they right now. I could have go up on this and be like everybody else and cuss this and burn out. And furthermore, I just want to say one thing. How, how can you cuss out a set of people that actually told you what was going to happen? I get say right now the people where you put the magnifying glass upon now about no fire or is not as warrior minded as you that expect. You know how much people around the world Rasta is fighting? Is doing something? Is is making this thing global be something? I don't think it's wise to get up and bash a set of people that has literally died, bled hidden pit toilets and did stuff like that it doesn't matter about the, the generation of the now what those men stood for that is what i am living off of i'm not following rastafari because of who's here now it's because who was then all the rest of them were really fought for some shit. they died and they're still dying worldwide and still putting things in place so me and your youth them can benefit and it's the duty of, of i guess of, of, of a man for reignite a fire in them yes but I just don't feel it, it's right to throw all of them under the bus. Everybody, there's Rasta that really helped with a lot of things that's happening in the world right now. So I just want to make you know, I just want to say my piece on that. Like, I don't feel like we should be out here bashing each other, like, and talking about each other. Like, you not do this, you not do that. Nobody ain't doing shit. Nobody's doing shit. Nobody's doing shit. Going on this Instagram thing and these platforms and talking and talking and talking. That is not. That is not it. That is not it. Even if you have five thousand people by your life, I tell and I tell them that these people now burn a fire. Are those five people thousand people doing anything? Are you doing anything? You get what I'm saying? Like, so you don't mean to get up and curse out any one section of people. You're just causing more divide. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing. You think you are a reignite a fire or blaming or whatever the fuck. All you're doing is causing more division in a time of mass division. Everybody's fucking lazy right now. Everybody is not doing what they're supposed to do. Everybody is caught up in the ego and think, oh my no, because dancehall and hip hop and that, that music is number one. And what fuels those music? Hip hop, um, ego. You know what I mean? Um, Ach trying to achieve bigger than life all of us is are moving after that all oh, these niggas has their families these artists have their families too they have their kids and they've seen how many martyrs come and died and nobody is doing anything so to get up and cuss out bumbuckle and cuss out rasta and cuss out this and cuss out muslim and cuss out christian and cuss out every bumbuckle body nobody is doing nothing even the people are shut up them fucking mouth. Nobody's doing nothing. Everybody's coming on this fucking Instagram. I keep asking people, what can we do? Me and youths, where they're on me, me and youth, me and ask what to do. A long time, but you ain't enough, man. I said, buy land, buy this, set up your own school, set up your own universities. But nobody wants to be the head of Rastafari because that's too much responsibility. And do you wrong them? So don't come out and cuss out everybody and cuss and cuss and cuss and go on and go on and go on like anybody is doing anything. This, the system is doing what the system does because it knows that nobody is doing anything. I know this. I know I'm not doing anything. Singing songs is not just... Singing is not doing anything. That's, that's like a little piece of the puzzle. You know what I mean? It's literally a little bit coming on IG and burning out people is literally... The opposite of progress 
it's literally the opposite of progress especially when the history of these people is greater than the people you're magnifying the glass on the history of these people is way greater the person that i look up to my main one my the alias celestia says things differently from all the rest of them that he taught you to burn people and do all of that it was a man of equality it was a man of rights it was a man of upstander it was a man of knowing how to eloquently express yourself Fool the definition of Rastafara is getting up and burning fire and, rrr, and anger and fucking stupidity and risking and putting the movement at risk by putting your life at risk by putting the, the lives of the warriors at risk. You're not moving smart. Like you get me? You know, that's not wise. And that's what I mean by we need more mental stability, bro. Because everybody's in their minds, in their minds thinking they're doing the right thing. And they're not. This goes for everybody, no name now for Carl, from both Rasta side, from any side. Nobody is doing anything. Nobody. Everybody, nobody, bro. Because at the end of the day, especially Futamoano, at the end of the day, the mission is greater than the human that, 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 that is speaking of the mission. He's still a human, he still fears. He's seen the death of prophets and martyrs and all of that. He still sees the behavior of the people. He's obviously going to move a bit differently in these times. My only issue is that he, there's one thing these people, one thing everybody writes is that Rasta do have nothing established where a young artist like myself or others that I know can go to lend our expertise or talents or ideas or vision or money and all these things to see the advancement. Of the whole human race. You get what I'm saying? That's the issue. That's the problem. So if 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 they think they're doing anything, if any of these artists think they're doing anything by just putting out an album, you're not doing anything. If you think you're just doing something by repeating what has been said, this is the action time. This is the time when youths like me should have clear orders and and mandates and memoirs and all that said, all Rasta where is doing this need to register, need to do this, need to do that, need to do that. That's not happening, bro. So all I wanna get up, everybody, curly lads, footer, everybody, even the rest of them, everybody I go up on them, IG and a chat. Nobody not do nothing. None on the not do nothing. Nobody's not doing nothing. Especially for the youth. None on the not do nothing. You know much young artists there are no artists no really take no young artists and I go up and tour with them like that. One and two happen, but not like that. Not like that. Which Rasta only for Rasta? You see the only for Rasta artists, I can only for young Rasta artists on tour. I spread the money and teach them and show them even if the situation fucked up. You know what I mean? You don't see that happening. You don't see a close connection with, with, with people that are supposed to be your big brothers or legend in the business with the younger people. So at the end of the day, as men say, there's so much, bro. You can't just get up and um, bust a bun people on the platforms every day. Worse with the advent of the global pandemic. Worse when people struggle to make money. Worse when people try to stay healthy. Worse when people are trying to keep their mental stability. Pan a level. You get me? Like, fuck all of that shit, bro. And let's get to that. Let's show the people how they can be healthy. If you know, tell them. Don't go on your platform footer and disrespect the foundations of Rastafari. Because once you're dissing it, no, you're dissing all, you're dissing it every, every, every era of it. Every era. And nothing is wrong with saying these artists are not doing that. But to say Rastafari is weak, the mere fact that you don't have a plastic container that you eat your food off is because of Rasta. In Jamaica, Rasta marched with some billionaires around the whole fucking island. My friends did that. My friends marched on the whole island and got banned on plastic. You don't know nothing about that because these people that walk around the island aren't artists. You get what I'm saying? I just feel like everybody's just burning a fire, burning a fire, burn. What are we burning, bro? What are we burning? More people? People were also confused about them sexuality? People that are confused? We should just be out here bleeding by example. But now we turn to each other. As the ballad man we know the right thing. And as the Rasta man we know the right thing. I want to cuss in front of people like me. We're a young musician. Young Rastafari. And you know, the thing we follow is majesty. A theme readings me listen to. A theme book them me read. It's not no Rasta guy. It's him. If him is the head figure. I'm following Haley Selassie. Haley Selassie is no man of just come and burn people. 
and come out here and de he deals with things equally. He want fairness across the board for everybody, for the blue-eyed man and for the black man. That's what his thing was. So if we're not gonna come and talk about Rasta, we better know what we're not talking about, dog. For real. Cause when me read and I know what we're not talking about. And I straight from the king mount me hear that myself. Me know say king and queen crown at the same time. Boom, it done this up. No man never go up on an old tirade that preach that go for go and kill and murder and burn and put our you know shit. Like, fuck that shit, man. Fuck that. We need to get healthy. Our minds need to be right. The average Jamaican youth don't know how to access the full capabilities of his brain, bro. So if anybody think they're doing anything, they're not doing anything. What it means to be a Rasta from King Selassie perspective is different from what it means by the Rasta man they were teaching you know, be a fuckery, be anger, be a false things. That's not what the king said. That's not what the king stands for. You see me? And none of them can't tell me nothing because him may I get it from. Not from no man down the street who is holy would think him holier than thou and head wrap up or whatever the fuck. This is real life. This is real life, and I listen to these prophecies. I listen to these songs. The messengers did what they had to do. I don't give a fuck what they're doing right now. I care less what Sizzler is doing right now. Every song, every song we listen to him, burn a fire in my spirit for be who he is today. It don't matter in my personal life. I don't care. I don't care about the personal life of any of these artists or anybody. Did the message go through? Yes. Because everybody in Jamaica can tell you some proverb, some parable, some something. You see me? But the, the system is so messed up, bro. It have us turning against each other. It have us turning against each other because everybody is afraid. Just because you are not afraid, one individual doesn't mean everybody is not afraid. It's messed up, bro. That's why my day I come for telling them, say, yo, fuck everybody else's side. Fuck a side, fuck a clique, fuck a section of society. Fuck religion, fuck the vision. Listen to me. Stay healthy. Keep your mind right. Think about what you're going to do with your financials. See how the world has paused. All of this has happened. Learn the signs. If the world is moving digital, you have to evolve. Are you going to fall? These are the things that are happening. These are the things that are happening. We need to approach this thing with love. Why Jamaican men can't approach things with love? You're not going to be a sissy man if you approach things with love, bro. We don't have to cuss out each other and go on. We can go on on the platforms together. Come with a reasoning and a solution, bro. It hurt me. Like, everybody's being silent because everybody's afraid. Everybody's afraid. Like, my fire is not to be wasted, bro, on things that the king did not talk about. My fire is for real things. Set up an organization. Set up an establishment. Set up a figurehead. Set up something that make me know, say, Rastafari is on the right path. Them right there, sir. Because I've been asking for that for years. But then to come and burn out the entire Rastafari movement that has put ban on plastic. That told you that this was coming. That did everything. That's fuckery. That's fuckery. And if you're applying it from the meds of a Rasta common man that I tell you some knowledge. That's not how the king was living fam. We have his books right here. We have Google. The king was not living like that. You can approach the thing with love. You don't have to make the whole world say so now. Because... Amongst yourself, but righteousness, una fight each other over righteousness. You get what I mean? So that makes sense, too, no? The two ended up on the same side of the coin, you know? But one are cuss out the other because one is not vocal enough. Fine. But do we need to approach it with anger? We're calling them people a, a poodle. We'll fire them gone. Them weak out. These the Jamaican men know how to antagonize people. Jamaicans in general know how to antagonize people. Whether you like it or not, whether you're doing it subconsciously or not, you, we can't approach each other with no fucking love. This is the people we are talking about, you know. The people them rights, you know. The people them where you not try to defend and attack about each other, it get personal. Now you think man a man want war because it sounds personal. Because it sounds like it moves from righteousness and the two are not war for sure who better than who. Of course, you know, says that they're going to respond that way, dog. You can't tell anybody say them a poogle and them a sheep when them do up a bubble eat every bumbo clad sabbat and them do out there do things and them a build up them community and them a buy out land of them whole community just because them now burn a fire up on this and call them sign some shit. Bro, like the mindset bro we need for they're exactly they're using the voice for the wrong action. 
for the wrong action is not about Rastafari anymore. It's not about Futa hype. It's not about Black Hero. It's not about Chronics. It's not about Pro. It's not about none of these. It's not about Kaffee. It's not about any of these fucking people, dog. It's about all of us. What are we gonna do? What 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 are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, bro? What are we gonna do? Cause nobody ain't doing nothing. So if everybody attack. And a bonfire won't a bon dog and a bon each other. I'm mean, not give a fuck. One no one say, I don't care which y'all listen to me one killer blast. I don't care if the bubble them firm or not. I don't care about a personal move a, a, a movement of a person or a, or a organization that's not organized. I'm saying why we need to argue amongst ourselves when these people are plan amongst themselves. The world governments link up every year. And reason amongst themselves and find a plan for the world. Yeah, I tell we say we as people, even in a small community as Jamaica, I'm mean, say community because of the streaming and people, bro. A small community of people in a Jamaica can come together and define our own shit. We have to turn to, you have to cuss out a set of man for not, 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 not burning a fire where did I burn for almost 60 years? The mindset, bro. That's why I'm going to come. As I said, I'm going to today. For just to fuck everything. Your health. Mind and your fucking money. Remember, I'm going to tell you that. Because all three of those things are going to be very essential during and after this. Yeah? That may make you know. So if you can get up there and bun, 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 bun each other and fight bun each other and beat amongst each other, you're not disrespecting the king. Straight up. That is not what the man stands for. The man plucking my fucking wall. Every day I wake up and I read that shit. The man's job, the man's whole purpose in life was to come and get equality amongst men. For you to look at me, your black brother, and for me to look at you, my white brother, as no different from each other. It's the same fucking blood. It's the same fucking oxygen and the same fucking carbon dioxide everybody breathe out. It's not no fucking... None of this one not talk about. None of this one not talk about. Who better than who and calling names and nobody not doing nothing bro nobody not doing nothing no, nobody's not doing anything how about that how about we just burn out with self how about we just burn out with self huh how about we just burn out with self how about we just start with the man in the mirror how about me black hero just come to and say i'm not doing enough how about foot I they come and say yo you know something not doing enough I'm gonna do is talk Suppose everybody else in the industry to come and say, I'm not doing enough. How much more can we do? Tell me. Let's see who has the answer. You get a man say, Brother, you have to tell me about sell Marcus and them sell you are the same black. You are the same. not about the black selling out. Them do that because with decent franchise, with poor, you don't get a little money in front of one man. Him take it and feel so getting rid of you forget get that money there is better in him. It's not nothing deep. I don't vex with no black brother where sell out Malcolm X, Marcus Gavi, Bob Marley, nobody. I don't give a fuck. You wanna know why? Because it's the it's because of our lack of unity as a whole make that happen. Everybody wasn't unified on the same mission these prophets were on. There was probably many, but there still wasn't everybody. There's always gonna be somebody that looks exactly like you that just doesn't want to see what you're saying makes sense. You get what I'm saying? So personally, what I'm saying personally, instead of rallying around these one men these martyrs these these people that have to die for us to protest for three weeks and then stop why we don't value ourselves why don't we just start with ourselves huh and the simplest way man telling them my brothers and sisters to start with ourselves simple deal with your health deal with your mind handle your money better makes sense don't Instead of all the way I get up on a bun, what we don't know what the fuck we're burning. We just want to do something and don't know what to do. We're turning and looking at each other and saying, you are to blame, you are to blame, you are at fault. I am at fault. That person's at fault. We're all at fault. Once we can say that, then we can start looking at it like, no, we all can change it. You get me? But holy patch of things, we never really come for that. We just want everybody to connect to my music. We follow my page. We tune into these lives to you know say 
if you're doing these three things trying to find different income streams staying healthy and have your mind stable as fuck audio you know audio books books you know you yeah, read you yeah, learn how to build yourself you yeah, do different things to stimulate your brain you yeah, exercise you yeah, work out a little yoga a little jogging here and there a little breathing exercise you know what i mean if you're doing that then you're on the right path my friend you see me everything else is distraction everything else is and distraction has its place the bickering amongst these two these two people the two people that want best for everybody Futa want best for everybody rastafari community want best for everybody we shouldn't be bickering amongst each other we shouldn't even be doing that you know what i mean we shouldn't even be doing that the more sensible people in our society need to come together not point fingers and the two of these people are sensible all of these people that are defending both rasta and both Futa at point are sensible people can we now come together and find a solution that we should be doing? The outcries are there, the songs are there, the movement is there. All we need is some action. Simple. And until I see that, everybody is to blame, including myself. So, that's all I have to say. Everybody just focus upon the personal battle at hand right now. Focus on the personal mission. Focus upon the personal mission you have right now. I'm not here to try to make you believe in Eli Selassie. That's me. I believe in Eli Selassie. I believe in his works. I believe in what he has done. I'm not coming here for convert, for tell you nothing. I'm just here to say, the more healthier you are, the more stable your mind is. And the more control you have over what your money does and where it comes from, the better you are going to be. Cool? Peace.